It is busy at Carrington this weekend as most of our players are back. Bruno Fernandes, the skipper, the lovely Alejandro Ganacho, and more. Welcome to the United on Sport. Here is a wrap-up of the goings on at Carrington this week. And of course, what we should expect in the coming days as we edge closer to the 10th of August when we play Manchester City in the Community Shield. But don't you forget that today or tonight is March Day. Or well, this the morning, of course, uh, the tomorrow morning is March Day as uh, Manchester United will be taking on Liverpool in the final pre-season tour game. Certainly so much to expect. But uh, let's start it off with what's going on at Carrington as the captain Bruno Fernandes did arrive with a smile. But how humble can Bruno be? He is the only guy who went greeting each and every one at Carrington when he arrived. I mean, he was uh, hand contact. Everyone, the guys on camera, the Ascari, you know, name them. He was greeting everyone. Of course, he arrived with a smile on his face, beatific smile from ear to ear. Uh, Alejandro Ganacho as well. Uh, Diogo Dalo returned. We saw Autel Bayindil. So it's uh, a very, I think, lively uh, day. At, 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 uh, it was a lively day yesterday at Carrington because, uh, of course, they also got a chance for the first time to meet with Joshua Zakzi. Uh, you felt that was, uh, again, very, you know, exciting. So these guys will be training at Carrington. Yesterday was a day full of testing. They were testing their fitness. It has, did anyone return with too much weight? Who ate so many burgers? Who go, who returned with an injury? Who is everyone healthy? If they are, we we'll get on with it. Now, the, the week that's ahead is busy again because on Monday, we expect Lissandro Martinez to be joining in. We expect... Uh, as uh, uh, Kobe Maino as well to be joining in. I think early next week, it should be around Tuesday. He will be joining them as well. So it is soon going to be a full house for Manchester United as we get to focus proper uh, on uh, the, the upcoming season. But that's not all that we should expect. In the coming week, of course, that's, that's tomorrow, we expect more signings because we know that United is going to be so advanced when it comes to Mathis Delete and Nusail Mazraoui. We expect Man United to chase Manuel Ugate like their life depends on him. It's going to be more intense. Uh, we expect uh, Manchester United uh, as well to clear out certain players. I do believe there will be something when, uh, to do with Scott McTominay. Uh, there was a report that I saw that Scott had agreed personal terms with Galatasaray. Not only Galatasaray, Scott has agreed personal terms with everyone who has, you know, uh, spoken to him it's up to man united now to agree with his, either uh, uh, uh fulham or galatasaray or tottenham whoever comes in seriously to make an official bid united agrees they let him go scott is ready to go he wants to go where he's going to play more uh then in the same week uh we expect uh, departures of uh, uh players probably like uh, christian erickson maybe a buyer could could surface uh, we expect uh, something on uh uh, uh, players like, of course, Wan Bisaka and where he will go. Uh, so it's a, it, 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 it's a beautiful thing to see. And of course, uh, you, you, you get the sense that everything that has happened in the past two weeks at Manchester United is energizing Eric Ten Hag because he even said, uh, while speaking in the pre match press conference before the Liverpool game, he said he's so happy at Manchester United. And you know, I think this is one thing that most United supporters liked about Eric Ten Hag last season. You saw that he was speaking with uh, conviction, with interest. When things went bad, he was, he, bad, he was really hurt. You saw that he had a heart of, for Manchester United. You saw a manager who is not just fighting just for his job, that it's a job he's doing. You saw a pride that he's proud of being manager of Man United. He wants to see it work. He wants to make it happen. You see an attachment. There is an attachment between... Man United and Eric Ten Hag, you feel it, you feel it, and that's what football is about. And I, uh, for me, it gives me a, a good vibe, a good energy going into the new season. It gives me a positive feeling about everything we are doing, that the manager is in it, the players are in it, and the transfer business that's going on around the club is making, it's making the cohesion even better. It's making us, uh, it's bringing us closer. We are feeling like we are heading somewhere. We're feeling that we are in this together, and that's what you love to see when you're getting into a new season. Uh, now, getting into the game we are playing tonight, of course, we know that players like Marcus Rashford and Anton are not there. Uh, there is uh, uh, no surprise uh, that, of course, uh, uh, Marcus Rashford will, uh, will play the game. 
which is okay because it's a preseason game. Uh, we, we, we've lost um, probably more important players, uh, the Euros and Hoylands, and uh, we, we've suffered. We've been here before. So by, by, by now, with the depth we've, we've got, we know that we, we should be able to, uh, uh, to, to, to deal with this. But uh, this, this is going to be a very, a, a, a very good test for Manchester United because you are playing a Liverpool team that has got a new manager who is getting uh, an opportunity to play with Man United for the first time. Now, Liverpool Man United, just like Arsenal Man United, are never friendly games. It's never a friendly affair. It's always going to be one game that will stretch. And I think it's a good thing that you're playing Liverpool before Man City. It's a good preparation. Of course, not that uh, the Community Shield is very important a game, but you see, if you're Man United, when you play these big teams, you want to win them. So we will be coming into this game to win, but also knowing it's a good preparation for us to beat Manchester City on, uh, in the Community Shield because we will be fitter, we will be more tested and stretched, of course, some of our players at least. So it's a good test. I, I, when I watched Liverpool uh, beat, uh, beat Arsenal, I, I got the feeling that uh, the, the continuity plan of Liverpool is quite enviable. Because if you see how uh, Alni Slot loves to play his game, it's not so far from Jurgen Klopp. It is a proper continuation of what Klopp started, that first Percy direct football. Now, with Eric Ten Hag almost almost they are giving Man United the identity that is expected to give it. My feeling is Liverpool is a good test of our playing style, which is the most important thing that Eric Ten Hag has got to sort first. My feeling is this Liverpool test, I, this is a game you need to watch tonight with uh, close attention to see how the Eric Ten Hag style will match prob probably one of the most difficult teams to face in the Premier League. The most difficult styles to face to play against in the Premier League. Because it's one thing for you to come out and have your nice uh, pressing style. It's a whole different thing for it to fit into the opponents. Because the way Eric Ten Hag uh, plays, should you, you win games by being better than, than your opponent. Not just being effective and lucky. You need you can't bring your game. It's, and that's what Eric Ten Hag li uh, likes. Play your Liverpool game, your direct PC game, pass directly so fast. Let us also play our pressing game. Let's beat you. Wh whoever you know is better on the night will win. Now I feel like Liverpool is a good is a good test for Eric Ten Hag and what he's building and the playing style he's building. Because if it's it's not working, Liverpool is that opponent that can destroy you. They can proper butter you. They can proper butter you. So we, we, I think it's a good chance for us to see how Eric Ten Hag has first of all solved the defensive problems that we've had and it's not even about the personnel it's the structure because even liverpool did not do not have some of most of their ma major players back yet but if you watch liverpool play uh, against arsenal in their last game you saw that the template is there you could proper saw it with man united we struggled for so long last season to see the template the playing style so my feeling is now that eric ten Hag is sort of building it i want to see how will it look against one of the biggest opponents in the league so this is a very interesting game. I'm more excited about this game than I was even about the Arsenal game. So let's wait and see how it goes because Liverpool's uh, intensity is a good test. If we can match the Liverpool style with our playing style, trust me, we're on the right track. But if Liverpool just exposes us, and it's not the result, it's when you watch the game, how does it flow? Most probably Liverpool can win, <laughs> but you know, a prison game can go anywhere. But the issue is how does it flow? How do we play? How does our style uh, feature against or rate or compare against Liverpool's style. Are we close or is it again another fumbled performance all over the place? That's a very important thing to see. So expect to look of course uh, uh, into that uh, critically tonight. So I just want to give you an update but just to wrap up uh, this uh, uh, week that has passed of course so uh, so many big steps have been made in terms of our transfers which is the most important thing we are looking at now but it's good uh, always to look ahead to what's coming. Expect big movements this week, starting even today. Later today, I look if you there will be a big update concerning Mathis Delete and Misael Mazraoui. Probably an agreement reached with Bayern and stuff because Bayern are even stepping up their interest in Jonathan Tah because they know they are getting advanced with Man United and the two defenders they are trying to pick from them. So it's going to be raining updates. That's why 
I do remind you to turn on your notification bell if you haven't so that you don't miss any of them. My name is Webb. This is the United Hotspot. Catch you later, fam.